A woman in South Shore says she is the latest victim of a puppy scam and it left her out of hundreds of dollars. That's right. The BBB issued an alert about puppy scams which have skyrocketed. Our consumer investigator Samantha Chapman with what to watch out for if you are looking to purchase a pet. So this woman says she was looking for a very specific dog and thought she came across a legitimate website. But in the end, she says she was left empty handed, no puppy and her money gone. The dog was adorable. The pictures he sent, he looked like he had so much personality. Charisma Cannon, a busy woman in South Shore, says she wanted a puppy to help keep her grounded, but she says she couldn't get just any breed. I have really bad sinuses, so I needed a specific dog. And I did a lot of research and found out that a Havanese dog or a Havanese breed um, would be the best dog for me in terms of it being hyperallergenic and not having a lot of fur. Cannon says she came across this website and fell in love with this Havanese puppy named Jet. She even showed her mom pictures of the pup. She was like, oh my gosh, he's so adorable. Get him, get him. She says she filled out a form on the website and got a text message stating the puppy would cost her $650. She was told to arrange to pick up the dog in Boston and pay a $350 deposit up front. Man, they were like, oh, send it via Western Union. And I was like, Western Union? She says that struck her as odd, but reluctantly, she sent the $350 through Western Union. Cannon says she waited for pickup instructions, but they never came. And the so-called breeder stopped responding to her calls and text messages. Oh, I definitely was scammed. I was definitely scammed. Cannon filed this complaint with the FBI. According to the Better Business Bureau scam tracker data generated from consumer complaints, in 2017, pet scam losses were at $448,000. But in 2020, losses came in at $3.1 million, a huge spike as more pet lovers search for furry friends online and are tricked into sending money. When the I-team called the breeder's phone number, a man confirmed that they were located in Boston. But he told me Cannon must be confused. And despite these text messages to Cannon from that same number I called, the man told me he doesn't know Cannon and doesn't have her money. Cannon says the breeder's response left her feeling shocked and angry. I've never had anything like this happen to me before. And my friends know I'm very frugal and I always research and check things out thoroughly. So. You know, I was like, oh my gosh, like how could this have happened to me? I don't have $350 and I don't have this cute, adorable dog. Now, I did a reverse image search on this puppy, and get this, I found the same puppy was posted on a different website. Now, this is one of the ways bogus breeders trick consumers into thinking their business is legitimate. The general rule of thumb, do not pay for a pet that you have not seen in person. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.